Exaggerated gasp. Does anyone else miss the old Pokemon? Like the OG, how the advanced games, the Game Boy Color games. All right, guys, and I will be doing that giveaway. So make sure to like and uh, subscribe and comment down below. What's your favorite video game? So all you got to do in this video is comment down below. What's your favorite video game? And you will have entered a chance to win one of the two Amazon gift cards. So I'm going to give away two Amazon gift cards. All you got to do is comment down below in this video. What's your favorite video game? And I should announce the two winners in my next video, which will be maybe two weeks. It's going to be a Starfield video. So yeah, I will announce the two winners there. And yeah. I remember back in the day, the first Pokemon game I got into was Diamond version. My friend had just bought Pokemon Pearl version and... He showed me, and I knew about Pokemon, but I was never really into it. But when he showed me Pearl version and he showed me what you can do, I was like, whoa, okay, I need this game. And then he told me, you know, there's a second version called Diamond. So I just pretty much got the Diamond version. And then I remember I went to the store and there was no Diamond versions. All there was was Pearl versions, but I wanted to play the game so bad that I just bought Pearl version. Well, my mom did because I was a kid. And then later on, a few days later, I was playing Pearl version. It was awesome. But then we went to Walmart again and then there was a Diamond version and I'm like, oh, no. No, 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 no. I need it. I need that game. And then my mom bought me that one too and I returned the Pearl version. And then I remember playing this game. I'm like, oh, this game's amazing. And I remember when I got to the Elite Four, it was tough. It was really tough because, you know, I didn't have any other Pokemon game to transfer any other Pokemon in there to help me beat the Elite Four. All I had was like my semi-strong team and my Dialga. And a bunch of hyper potions and revives. We all know how it is. If you try to beat the Pokemon, the old Pokemon games legit, no cheating, no just leveling them up and trying to beat the Elite Four, it's pretty freaking hard. Especially with no potions. I want to see someone do that. That's really tough. I mean, like, yeah, you can train your Pokemon to be level 100, but it would take long. It was a grind, you know? But that's what made Pokemon Pokemon. It was tough to level up your Pokemon. It was hard to do that. Because the higher level of the Pokemon you would get and they would become, the longer it would take to level up even higher. That was the difficult part about Pokemon. Again, if you're not cheating or if you're doing it legit. I remember I actually got my Pokemon to level 100 and it was so long to get them to level 100. But it was so awesome. I felt like I felt accomplished. And that's something these new Pokemon games don't have. All the Pokemon get leveled up even though they're not fighting like a participation medal. And they level up so fast and so much. It takes away the challenging part of Pokemon. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people would agree with me. They should make in the new Pokemon games a mode where you can play original, which would be like the new type where like everyone gets leveled up. And then they should make a classic version where you can level up your Pokemon the way it used to be. And in the classic, you can actually get very unique special rewards. So you can, you know... This, the rewards that the original can't get that way it could be like two save files you get what i'm saying one you can do original and one you can do classic and look more more play time for your pokemon game you know your pokemon game would be worth more because now you have to beat it twice a classic and original if you want to do the two runs <laughs> there you go that's a free idea nintendo there it is right there and don't even get me started the difficulty on the like original Pokemon games to level up. Those make Diamond and Pearl seem really easy in a cakewalk. I remember when I got Sapphire version, I chose Mudkip and I think your rival only gets to like a girl vial. You can't even see Skeptile and you can't even see like Torchic or Combusken or Blaziken. Yeah, the Pokédex was way harder, especially in the Game Boy games, because you needed to have friends who also have the game and different versions. And, you know, <laughs> I guess that was tough having friends. <laughs> well, at least to have the game, because, like, you know, not everyone would play Pokémon, but it was pretty famous, I would say. Thankfully, I had a friend who was like that. I had a few friends who had other Pokémon games. Another thing that I find annoying from these new Pokémon games is, like, the villains, the plots. I remember in the old Pokémon games, there was Team Galactic trying to take over and erase the universe. Uh, Black and White with Team Plasma. They were trying to be good guys, but then they turned out to be really bad guys. And it actually, you know, it brought up, like, the whole discussion of, like, Pokémon being slaves. Team Rocket stealing Pokemon, uh, Magma, uh, Team Magma, Team Aqua, you know, trying to flood the planet or trying to make it dry, which is weird. That's a weird, <laughs> you know, thing to do. But still, it was pretty serious. Now in these new games, they're like bullies. Like in, uh, I like Team Skull from Sun and Moon. Those guys were pretty funny. But like, 
the plot was kind of dumb. It was just like, oh, they're bullies, right? I think it was something like that. And then Sword and Shield, the chairman, I guess, was the bad guy. And I thought Team Yell was going to be the bad guy, but they weren't. They were just like kind of misunderstood, I guess. And then the bad guy was actually the chairman, but he wasn't even that much of a bad guy. Well, in my opinion, at least. And now Scarlet and Violet has Team Star. They were like helmets and they just go around and being delinquents. I just got, I, I just feel like we should bring the stakes more higher now, you know? Like, make it serious. Don't be so childish. Then again, though, this game is for children, so I guess I can see that. But at the same time, the old Pokemon games were for children. And now I am here as a grown man talking about Pokemon. Another thing that I miss about the old Pokemon games was some of the end game stuff. You get what I'm saying? I remember in the old Pokemon games, like in Emerald, there was a battle frontier. You get to do so much stuff more. I never played Emerald. I only played Sapphire, but I know Emerald had a battle frontier. And um, Platinum had another battle frontier. Even Diamond and Pearl didn't have a battle frontier, but you can still do some things after the game. And like, I think Heart Gold and Soul Silver was probably one of the best Pokemon games, but because you get to fight another pair of gym leaders and you get to do more stuff afterward even alpha sapphire and omega ruby which isn't so old they had a bunch of endgame stuff too now now in sword and shield is you have to buy the endgame stuff and even in scarlet and violet we're gonna have to buy the endgame stuff you could definitely tell that in those new pokemon games those endgame things if there if we lived in a world where there was no like such heavy microtransactions and dlcs you can tell those dlcs would be free not only that i'm paying 60 bucks for this game those games were like 35 40 and they came up with more end game stuff for free you know like what the f what's going on here something's wrong I don't know, if you were to expect that, you know, a 35 Pokemon dollar game, $35 Pokemon game, or 40 whatever, gives you that much content, which it did, you would expect, if you were to tell me in the past, hey, there's going to be $60 Pokemon games, and they're going to be on consoles, not on handheld consoles, I would think first, oh, then that's got to have, like, a lot of content, and it's going to have a lot of fun stuff to do, but it's actually the opposite, there's actually less things to do, and it's not as fun, which sucks. All I'm saying is that, I just wish they can bring back some old stuff, and you know, add more content, and for God's sakes, add voice acting. Jesus, we need voice acting. There's games with smaller budgets that have voice acting. Pokemon is, I think, I think, it's the biggest franchise in the whole world, right? Like the biggest video game franchise in the world. It has to be one of the biggest. How do you not have voice acting? It looks so awkward when the characters are talking and nothing's coming out. Another little small thing they should do is not make shiny so easy to get. I remember back in the day, getting a shiny was like almost winning the lottery. I remember when I first found my shiny, I think it was a Sableye from Sapphire version. I was freaking out. I didn't like the Pokemon, but it was a shiny, so I kept it. Nowadays, getting a shiny is like, oh, look, a shiny. Cool. That's just like a small one. I don't know. Me personally, I don't like it that shinies are so easy to get now. I guess one more would be put more effort on the Pokemon design. Don't get me wrong. Some of the new Pokemon are cool, but some of them are really trash. A pair of keys? An ice cream cone? Now, the ice cream cone, I kind of love hate it. The designs of the past Pokemon games, for sure, are way better than these new ones. But, you know, the new ones, sometimes they do, you know, like Tinkaton. I love Tinkaton. That's, like, one of the best designs ever. I think they are starting to do a little better on the designs, but there was a moment, for sure, where their designs were trash. But I still prefer the old designs better. And, again, that's just a small one. Anyways, that's my little rant. I just want to do a little rant of, like, how the old Pokemon games are just better than the new ones and more exciting. If you guys got any more, you know, reasons why the old Pokemon games are better than the new ones, let me know in the comments if something that I missed, you know? Or maybe you think the new ones are better than the old ones. Hey, you know, tell me how I'm wrong in the comments. Because if there's one thing that YouTube comments like to do is point out how they're wrong, how the person's videos are wrong. So yeah, just let me know. Like and subscribe. And if you like any other nerdy videos like movies, video games, and other stuff, I have a lot of those. You guys can check out more of my videos. And I will see you guys on the next one. Oh yeah, and like and subscribe, please. Oh my god, please.